guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another process video for Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I apologize, there is a little bit of camera shake. I'm still trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to get the best filming in this new scrap space, so I apologize ahead of time. Um, I am using some of the new Pink Paisley collection, and this is called Sweet Freedom. And it is primarily like a 4th of July America type collection and it actually worked out perfectly for some baseball pictures of my son. So I'm working with two 4x6 photos and these are both of him in his catching gear. He's playing Little League um, for the first time this year and has found this huge love of playing um, the position of catcher. So I got to snap some photos, some close-up photos of him in his gear this past weekend and so I wanted to get those into his album. And so I am going to take this stencil, and this is a really old star stencil, and I'm just tracing around a big star in the bottom and then a small one in the top because I am going to kind of go with a diagonal theme on this layout. And so those two that I traced around, I'm going to stitch with some of this really deep red embroidery thread. And it kind of goes with the mat that I put on that main photo of my son. And then I have pulled out from the Sweet Freedom Ephemera pack these different die cut stars and they have kind of this copper tone to them and so I'm going to be combining the coppers with some of the Spiegel Mom Scraps cork confetti stars and I'm just kind of laying those in a diagonal pattern across the entire layout so that I have all of these different stars and then I am going to add a die cut um, a little tag down there at the bottom where my two photos are overlapping and I'm just looking at the different phrases I have, and there's this one that says, enjoy the simple things in life, and that's going to find a home. I like how that fits on there. And then I'm also going to grab some of these wood veneer. They're just teeny tiny stars and kind of scatter those around my diagonal pattern as well. And so I'm just trying to find a way to create a bunch of dimension and texture. So I've got the stitching, I've got the die cut ephemera pieces, I have cork, I have wood veneer. So I'm really adding just a bunch of little details that add a lot of dimension. And then I went and grabbed these uh, thickers. These are from the Go Now Go collection from Chamel, which isn't her latest one, but the one before that. And so my title up here on top of the photos is going to be hashtag fun. And then I'm going to add down on the bottom photo a little go with an exclamation point. Um, just to kind of tie that glittery look across the layout because that's going to be the only two places where I have the copper with the glitter added. And I want that to be very subtle because this is a boy page. Um, and so this is just about my son finding this, this love he has of playing catcher. And so I don't need a lot of journaling. This is mainly just going to be this photo space. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back and I pulled out some different sequins packs from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I'm going to be using Magical Day in the Park, as well as some of the navy sequins from the Blues Traveler, which is one of the newer collections. And I'm just kind of adding those in a few different places throughout the layout. And I am going to kind of cluster them together. So I'm clustering them with some of those ephemera pieces from that Sweet Freedom collection. Um, it's kind of a way to combine some older things with some newer ones. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I love to combine my stash products with my new fun products that I'm excited to use. Um, I did go ahead on that tag that's overlapping my photos and put the die cut piece on some um, adhesive dots so that it is dimensional. And then I added some red pen detailing around the outside to kind of tie the red details together. So there's just a few different places where you see that pop of red that are going to go on this layout. And then I'm just adding a couple more little wood veneer stars to kind of add that over on that side. And then I'm going to pull out my Tim Holtz phrases. And this is from the Chit Chat set, uh, collection. And so I'm just going to add three down here on the bottom that really go with my photos. And I do this a lot in place of journaling when I don't have a specific story, but I want to kind of do an inspirational layout for one of my kids. So they just say, live your dream with passion. We are fearless, independent, and original, and you are capable of becoming more than you realize. And then I'm going to grab these little puffy stickers, and these are just from Sticko. I think I picked these up at Walmart for like 50 cents. Um, but they have a bunch of puffy sticker baseballs, and so I'm going to kind of scatter a few of those throughout some of my clusters on the layout just to kind of add that little element. That's an element that my kids really enjoy when they look at 
the layouts in their album are these little tiny details of things um, that incorporate more of that little kiddish look or something that's their favorite. So if I can add that in subtle places throughout my layout design, I really like to do that for my kids. And that's going to do it for this layout. So super simple way to combine a bunch of different elements together to create a lot of different textures. So glitter thickers and sequins and wood veneer along with some hand stitching and cork embellishments really create an interesting look with a lot of different textures for your eyes to kind of take a look at. So I hope you enjoyed this layout and I'll see you again soon. Bye!